Other news we're watching today, more than two years after a proposed mixed-use building near the Owensboro Convention Center was announced, city commissioners approve an amended agreement providing millions of dollars for that project. The planned hotel and apartments on West 2nd is also changing from its original plans. Eyewitness News Mike Pickett has the latest from our Owensboro newsroom. Since the old buildings on the 3rd Convention Center hotel site came down in June 2019, the site has been largely quiet. Getting steel and getting materials and getting HVAC systems, it is just absolutely um, imperative to a project to be able to have that stuff in line and be able to procure it. And during the pandemic, it was just nearly impossible. Gulfstream COO Ed Ray says the planned home two suites and apartments is getting back on track after the pandemic slowed work. City commissioners have approved an altered $4.6 million incentive package for construction. The planned number of hotel rooms has been reduced from 120 to 110 and the number of apartments to at least 180. I think every hotel project in the country probably took a, took a halt and a step back to evaluate. And not only evaluating um, whether or not to build, but what to build. How do the post-COVID customers uh, see a facility like that? The fact that we're actually building a, a hotel in the midst of a pandemic is a miracle in itself. Ray says much of the money involved will go towards adding parking for the building. Contractors are reworking the building's design. Ray says the new room and apartment numbers still meet required new hotel rooms the convention center needs to attract more business. As long as we're meeting their expectations of what they need to market the convention center, that's really what lifts the entire downtown uh, hotel community. Construction could start as soon as this fall, pending approval of all permits needed. In Owensboro, Mike Pickett, Eyewitness News.